look who's just stepped into my life. Well, I guess you're the toast of the town, are you? That's kind of cute, isn't it? Right? I love this brooch. I bought it because it's a piece of bread with peanut butter and jam on it, which two of my children live on. <laughs> two little bites out of it. Two little bites, yeah. I'm going to keep it forever, and when they're big men, I'm going to say, that's what, you, that's what, uh, that's what you grew up on, kiddos. Oh, here's a letter on graph paper. I love these. Dear Smith and Smith, okay, I've been watching your show on TV now for about two years. I used to watch it on the radio, but the colors weren't as real. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just in Any crayon, this one. <laughs> anyway, after all this time I've given up, I can't tell which one is Smith. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Morag, you poor thing, when did you lose your hair? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Was it painful? <laughs> Thank heaven for David Church, who was able to supply your new hair. It is lovely, though, and looks very real. I guess in a way we ask for this kind of mail, don't we? <laughs> so anyway, your half hour is one of the brightest spots in my week. Thank you for being. Sincerely, Roger Cook, Dunville, Ontario. Well, it, it ended on a bright note. <laughs> well, You know, I know yes. what he's talking about, because this really bothered me, too. We used to have the credits at the end, and it would say, Hair by David Church. I mean, literally, you know, I mean, as if he made it, spun it out of cotton candy or whatever. And now we have, if you listen very carefully, Roger Cook, you'll hear the man say, Hair Styles by David Church, right? That's exactly right, Morgan. I, I think a point well worth bringing up, don't you? It certainly <laughs> held my attention for this. What's it been, about eight hours you've been talking about this, I guess? 30 seconds. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you for the letter, Roger. You're weird. You know that, eh? I'd have to be. <laughs> it just means you, you twit all.